Welcome back. It is time now for Education Matters. Today we're talking about math requirements and if students are falling behind. So joining me today, Dr. Craig Douglas. Thank you so much for being here Good as morning. always. Good morning to you. You know, so I want to talk about this. What can be done to bring American students a little more up to speed? Yeah, Sarah, a lot of literature on the web about how we are really lagging behind internationally in math. I was a math major. Um, mathematics actually is content, really hasn't changed all that much. Mm -hmm. I would have you think about Euclidean geometry invented or developed by Euclid and others that, uh, around that era hasn't changed a lot. So what are, what are some distinctions? So a lot of the data shows us behind Asian countries. So I looked at South Korea as an example. Mm -hmm. uh, South Korea definitely has a status associated with teachers as mm -hmm. a profession right. that arguably is higher than perhaps Americans that, that we have in the United States. So that status and respect, uh, their, their theory in South Korea is the teacher drives the excellence that the students have. And so uh, we might think about modeling that and putting more value on our teachers. Our teachers are great, they're dedicated, but arguably sometimes they're underappreciated, frankly. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you pull the teacher off the street, they probably would uh, state that they maybe are undercompensated or not given the respect. In South Korea, they're compensated very well. Planning time is valued in South Korea. We have some planning time in the United States, but it proportionally is less. And so we might think about some of these best practices. I'm just tossing these out as examples. There's many, many, many more. Mm -hmm. But looking at best practices that other countries have and then actually borrowing and copying and employing them here would be one way to go about it. As communities, we can inquire about our teachers and support our teachers and inquire about things like professional development and how they're supported uh, with compensation, but also indirectly, how are they supported and given respect. Sure. The bottom line is I think we all want excellence for our kids. And uh, if, if a student's struggling, we don't want to let them struggle. We want to try and pick them up mm -hmm. because uh, what's the saying? When the, when the harbor raises, all boats are lifted. Well, if we can help our children, our whole community is benefited. Right. And we, we just need to be persistent and stay as positive as we can. And teachers have a very important job. They are crucial. They are. Thanks a lot, Dr. Douglas. For more information about today's topic, just check out the TV5 Hot Links page.